niggas lying through their teeth, but I keep it 100 every time that I speak. These niggas lying through their teeth, but I keep it 100 every time that I speak. Let's go. Boy, I'm in the zone right now. Boy, I'm in the zone right now. Same niggas that switched up on me, them the same niggas blowing up my phone right now. But I ain't got time right now. Cause a nigga on the ground right now. With OGs blowing la la la. Why you probably still living at your mama's house? Look. Get your money up before you talk slick Cause I've been getting to this green on some golf shit Flow so sick I could probably call it What's going on gamers? Welcome back to another Madden video Today we're gonna go over the beta Madden 21 gameplay impressions in the first four games Now, I'm gonna include more input on the game in following videos So don't be afraid to go in the comment section and let me know what it is that y'all want me to check out and I will bring that to y'all. So the first thing we're gonna do is the ratings. So far out of four games, I give it a 6.5 out of 10. Now, second of all, from Madden 20 to Madden 21, the game does feel more fluid and the game does seem like they patched some things that were broken. Not everything, but some things that were broken. So the first thing we're gonna go over is the user. The user, I'm going to tell you right now, it's more realistic, but it's going to take for you to get used to. A lot of people are crying on the forums, on Twitter, pro players. It seems slower. People are used to being able to, they hike the ball, bait a drag route for two or three seconds, and then run back up the field to a 92, 93 speed wide receiver and cover a post or a cross. So far, how they have the game that is not gonna happen. It don't matter if you are a user in a safety or a linebacker. When you pick your play and your coverage shell behind it, know exactly what you plan to do and who your responsibility is so you can be more successful on defense. Now out of four games, I have about three to four user picks. I also have probably three or four user picks that I dropped just bounced off my guy's hands a couple different animations as far as that but that's something that I think that they need to tweak and they need to tweak that ASAP if you pick the right coverage make the right adjustments and your user is in the right position they need to bump the threshold up to give you better success you don't want to be giving the opponent second and third chances when they make bad decisions the next thing we're going to talk about the quarterback Lamar Jackson, Patrick Mahomes, the scrambling is what I would say a little bit overpowered, can be tweaked. I seen Lamar Jackson when I was playing against the computer making uh, one foot throws, getting out of the pocket with ease. I like that, that they implemented that the quarterback will take off, kind of like real life. Lamar Jackson is not going to just sit, wait for a blitz to get to him. If nobody's open in that first two or three seconds, the computer will take off. So you have to strategize against that. But I think it's a little too easy for the quarterback to escape, make your uh, coverages kind of bite down, and then still make plays on the run. So if they can tweak that, balance that, and get it a little better, more realistic, it would be just fine. Now, another key thing that I want to talk about, the pass rush. Now, I haven't been sacked by the computer in four full games, but usually when I send a five or six man blitz, that's when I'm able to generate pressure. No regular three man or four man pressure, I haven't seen. Now, if you're playing all Madden against the CPU, it might be a little different, but against an online head to head, a real opponent, I realize a lot of people play it safe now on defense. So they will use the linebacker or safety and let the regular three or four man pass rush do what it's going to do, which is not generate a lot of pressure so far. And they will try to just play seven, eight man in coverage 90% of the time. Another thing that I've seen, I haven't seen nobody spam corner routes, but if you play with the coach adjustments, your zones, uh, five yard increments, it plays your cover two zones way better. Now, if your person is throwing corner routes and all that type of stuff, you would want to be at that 10 yard increment. Now, when the game comes out, it might be a little different, but corner routes usually break because the corner routes are a little different this year. They have like a double move uh, slant kind of look. 10 yards is about the sweet spot. Now, if you play cover two and you don't touch your zones at all, a streak and all that will be wide open. Now, if you do touch it, depending on your opponent's tendencies, 
if you drop them back in zone 10 yards or 15 yards underneath is going to be wide open and that's the reason why i'm going to talk about the next thing open field playing is way better and way crisp you can take a one two yard drag turn it up the field instantly to a nine to 15 yard gain and that's the difference in the game between being short of the first down or getting that third and nine if they are dropping back playing sticks playing with the coach adjustments getting them zones dropping all the way back and you hit them with a drag and all them people are dropped back you can turn up the field instantly run up the middle of the field swerve off to the left side of the field the field seems a little wider and you have a chance at picking up that first down now another thing that i want to talk about a lot of people have been crying about abilities where you can see the whole play so far only the ravens have it but if you are spamming the play you running stretch 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 same formation the play art will be exposed so far it's only the baltimore ravens safety with that ability but if you are running gun split close uh, halfback wheel or whatever over and over and over and you hit three to four different play calls without changing up your scheme it's over 300 plays your entire offense will be exposed with a certain ability so it don't matter if you put a drag crossing route hitch combo the defense will be able to see that and adjust if you do a halfback draw you have one play set up you audible into a halfback draw and you have been spamming a play before that it will be exposed so that's something that you need to remember right now before the full game is released now they might tweak it a lot of people have been crying about it i think it just brings another aspect to the game now if it's anything specific that y'all want me to go over after I play the game a couple more, let me know in the comment section right now. I'm gonna try to get everything down. Now, as far as sucking zones down, uh, cover two, cover three beaters, I haven't seen that yet. I haven't seen where a guy runs free because you are putting route combos on the field and it makes that guy uh, dumb out. I haven't seen that yet, but the New England Patriots offense right now, in four games, I have put up about 75 to 80 points. Now, over four games, I have gave up one touchdown total. Four games, four rage quits. And what I like to mix in is the 3-4-I and then the 3-4 Cub. That's in the New York Jets playbook. That helps me generate five-man blitzes and six-man blitzes. And that's usually the best chance that you got at getting to the quarterback. Now, another thing that you want to do is in this Madden 21 you want to bluff a lot of coverages too. So if you go to man align or auto base align, you don't have to send blitzes all the time. Your opponent's tendencies will tell you in that first possession, is he somebody that's going to jump right into five wide? Is he somebody that's going to hit the running back? Is he going to go for drags? And then you can make adjustments to that. We're going to go into another video after this, but let me know what it is that you want me to touch on, what has been changed, and I will give you all my thoughts on that.